No need for martial law in Negroes Oriental aid FC the day is cheap. Manila, Philippines the military commander in the Bataeus is not inclined to recommend the declaration of martial law in Negroes Oriental, describing the security situation in the province as manageable. From our level here, I don't think at this time we need to implement martial law, Lieutenant Jen. Noel Clement, Chief of the Armed Forces of the Philippines Central Command, AFP Sentcon, told the Sent reporters on Sunday. If security situation is still manageable, Clement pointed out, adding, right now, we're not inclined actually to recommend martial law. The AFP Sentcon, based in Tanzu Kulatu in Sebu City, is primarily tasked with combating terrorism and insurgency in the Bataeus region. Not widespread, Clement said, when you talk about martial law there should be rebellion for any insurrection. I think, at this time, that is not happening there, Negroes, Orientals. There are incidents of killings but left square bracket these are right square bracket within manageable levels to the point that it is not widespread in the province. He said he ordered several months to go the deployment of the 300th Brigade from Bohol and the 11th Infantry Battalion from Zambanga City to Negroes Oriental. These are enough forces to contain the situation there, he said. More troops were fielded because of the insurgency problem, there, not actually because of the state of killing, Clement said. He said he has yet to receive any instruction to assess the situation in Negroes Oriental and come up with a recommendation. He said he was prepared for such an order. Consultation military officials are consulting with the local government and other concerned sectors in the province to deal with the problem, according to Clement. We can't continue to accuse each other left square bracket of the right square bracket killing. That's not the problem there. It has to be addressed from a different perspective, not just to address the killings first, he said. Communist rebels and groups with alleged ties to the Communist Party of the Philippines, CPP, and its armed wing, the New People's Army, NPA, have been blaming the state of killings on government forces. Police and military authorities countered that the CPP dash and gas was actually behind the attack. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.